Hey team, this is Fernando, and I wanted to shoot a quick video to show you how do I use how I use Post Planner uh, to share content on my different platforms. Uh, as you know from your uh, daily spas, part of your two hour is to do your prep, your planning, and your training uh, outside of your 72 minutes that you're going to be doing prospecting and income producing activities. So to show you how simple this can be, uh, and this is obviously uh, on the premise that you already have Post Planner. If you don't have Post Planner, I'm including the link below. Just go ahead and uh, click on the link and get your version of Post Planner. And once you've got your version of Post Planner, make sure that you do go and set up your own affiliate account so that as you're bringing your own team members under you, you can share with them your affiliate link so that you can get paid a commission when they go and get Post Planner as the tool. If they choose to use that, you don't have to, but if they choose to use that to go and create content on autopilot uh, to leverage your time or their time um, to share content on the different platforms. So today, uh, Georgie, um, she uh, shared this uh, really cool little post here saying, you know, girl boss, I think we can change the words and reflects all of us. That's a fun thing. And if you look here, there's all these phenomenal words, right? Look, really, really great words. Graceful, creative, mindful, grateful. And I've already been running a series of posts on my personal profile where I'm sharing statements like, you know, today I'm loving, today I am courageous, today I am present. And I wanted to add to that. So here's an example of where you can see a post that's been shared on Facebook and you can grab that. And then all I did was I went to, <clears throat> let me see if I can open this up. Uh, no, for some reason I'm sure what's happened to me. If I go to Canva, just so you can see how, how easy this can be for you to do, I just go to all my designs and you'll see that here I've already got a bit of a template and I think I just used a social media template I just created that um, I'll click on it I'll open it up so I create a bit of a template here you can see just added the color add a bit of a banner and then basically I added a photo of me which I uploaded down here it's not very hard to use there are lots of videos on YouTube on how to use Canva I recommend that you do invest the time because you can do lots of things here uh, but just coming back to this I created the template and I just went in one by one so if we go back over here you see um, mindful grateful audacious so today I am audacious right and then I just went and did today I am creative and I just changed the background colors, which you can do easy enough by selecting background color here. You see, that's the background color. I won't make any changes for now. I just want to show you how this works. Today, I am authentic. Today, I am supportive. Today, I am energetic. Okay? And then now, all I have to do is go into Post Planner. So once I've done all of that, I download all of my... <clears throat> all I have to do here is press Download. All pages download. It downloads them to my computer. And then basically I go to Post Planner. Now you will have to spend some time uh, setting up your Post Planner. Mine's already set up. I'll just log in quickly so you can see. Uh, log in with Facebook. And one of the first things you got to do on Post Planner is go and set up your... Uh, your plan. So basically the way that my plan works is I'll do uh, four posts a day. I'll do an image in the morning, a photo. I'll do a text uh, and uh, maybe videos. I'll do an article at 5 p.m. and I'll do another photo. So when you set this layout here, if you go and find content, it will always, if you go and find the photo, it will only ever put the photos at either 7.30 or 9.30 p.m. It won't put a photo here or here because you haven't dictated photo there. If you go and find articles, so if I go and find 20 photos or upload 20 photos in my schedule, it will only put them at these two times across whatever platforms I have determined here. So I've selected uh, Fernando Loesa Live. I've selected Fernando Loesa, which is um, Online Marketing Pro, and my Twitter account and my personal profile. So if I go to find now, I think uh, not find, if I go to um, post, Right, I can go write a post here, so I just need to select first of all what list I want to post to. So I'm going to go to this list here, which is going to include only whatever I've highlighted. 
and you can see the list there. Right? So you can see I've already uploaded some of these. Today it drops them in at whatever times I've specified. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to upload one more. Uh, I think I was up to about 12, so I'll keep on going there. Today I am prosperous. So I might just go, today I am prosperous. And I put my, now what do I put my, what do I put my URL here? The reason I put my URL there is because if you go to my website, <clears throat> and I recommend that you, that you, that you do this. Um, oh, I'm sure what's happening there. Is my uh, website is broken? Not sure why. All right, seems to be a problem. I have to go and check that out. But other than that, um, on my homepage, if you see my homepage, it has. Let me just go new tab. New tab. There's my homepage there. There's a video and there's a lead magnet right on the homepage. That might not work because there's a problem with it. Yep. Okay. But you can see on here, there's a lead magnet right there. So that's how I get people adding into my uh, database every single day onto my list. Okay. So then you post it there and you press add to plan and we'll add it will add it to your schedule. So you see it's got February the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and just keeps on going into the next month. Okay, so even though it looks three times, once Twitter, once Fernando Loasa Live, once Online Marketing Pro, okay, and then the other one is for my personal profile, okay. And these are some of the other ones that are yet to come out that have already been pre-planned, which are articles, uh, Today I'm Blessed, these are some of the older ones, and so forth, okay. So I'll just keep on going. Add another one. Uh, so let's go number 13. Today I'm assertive. Today I am assertive. And just by doing that, I'm planning content for the whole month, right? So then if I if I use my 36 minutes a day doing this, in two days I'll probably have my whole content planned for the whole month. And then I just need to add videos or Facebook Lives as I uh, come across information. Uh, to keep my audience engaged, right, on my different, on my different platforms. So very, very simple to use. Um, everything seems to be freezing right now. Not sure why. All right. So with that, hopefully that um, is enough to explain to you how you can use Post Planner to plan content. Uh, of course, you can add other types of content like articles. Um, videos and anything else. So I hope that makes a difference and I'll see you on another training video. Go and make it your best day yet. Take care and bye for now.